All right, everyone, today we are looking at the second highest ranked player, Luffy97. Um, and I was going to analyze his uh, stats and then go into Luffy97's games. So let's see, that's how they progressed over the time. Luffy97, what I found interesting is political supremacy was the highest win rate uh, percent chance for him. Uh, so eight. 15% of the time going to win politically, 15% military, 5% science, and 16% civilian. Compared to all average players, um, most people are not really uh, winning in political supremacy. You see like 0.02. 10% uh, for military supremacy overall, 10% scientific supremacy overall. So it's about even for most, most players uh, between military and supremacy. It seems like the higher players favor military, though, uh, as the number one has, uh, I think, a 17% win rate with military. Um, and then here in the number two, he's got a 15%. But uh, I don't think anybody has as high of a political supremacy uh, percent chance, at least not in the top five players, as uh, Luffy does. All right, so that's kind of how we're going to uh, look at this really quick, analyze it. And let's check out his game history. And now we will go into a recent game that he has played. All right, so here's... He's won the last two games he's played. Um, he didn't really win very many points off of those, so he, that gives me a clue he didn't play against any a high rank player there. Now... Um, Yan 4400. Game abandoned. Yeah, because I don't want to look at that one. Let's look at the one where he. Uh, do we want to look at a loss or a win? Let's look at a win. So, Luffy 97 versus Drawn 1. Okay. Um, and we will review the gameplay from the perspective of Luffy. So, we already know Luffy 1. And we're going to figure out how Luffy won. So very first uh, choice from Drawn is to take Nosos. Um, and then Luffy decides to take the other extra turn, or the only extra turn option. So I believe uh, in that case, Nosos is, is better. Um, and Drawn won, he's playing with, at the time had the exact same ELO as him. 707 to 707, so it uh, should be evenly matched. It's interesting that Drawn chose um, the military cards being cheaper as his first option. I really wouldn't have picked that. Um, or not being cheaper, but military cards, constructing them, paying more money. Um, and maybe he looked at the stats of his opponent and saw, hey, high military win rate. Don't want to have that happen. Uh, I would have picked this one, the plus two coins for discarding, because I value coins in the beginning of the game, and I would discard the two military, giving me more coins than, than buying them. Okay, and then the next wonder uh, Luffy is going to choose is, I believe Great Library is the answer. Oh, I'm wrong again. Okay. Now, Luffy's got his first choice. He's going to, a lot of military choices, but he's going to pick Divine Theater here. Yep, and then Drawn is going to pick maybe both the ones that hurt the economy, Circus Maximus and Statue of Zeus. And leaving Colossus. Okay. Colossus isn't that bad, but um, but yeah, that's really great to be able to combine both of those uh, hurting the economy of your opponent. Let's see how he plays that. Okay, so Drawn first is going to take a uh, Senator card. Interesting. Maybe that was his plan all along to do that. Oh, okay. That makes sense. He already wanted to do that. Okay, so he was looking ahead. I was thinking, yeah, of course you grab that with Nosos, but he saw the senator, he saw he'd get first pick, and now he's going to make sure that he is not wanting for coins. Let's see how that plays out, though. Luffy takes the gray resource. There's a brown, and there's a wonderful yellow. I think Luffy takes the yellow. No! Takes the... And what... Uh, got him to take the brown. Um, I guess because the brown is wood. I think you always take the yellow, but um, okay, so he takes the brown. 
especially to capitalize on that discarding rate. Like you plus two for each time you discard, and make plus one more. Um, how often is he, is he planning to discard? Obviously, he's planning it because he's put plus two. Anyways, took the wood. Um, going to allow his opponent, who has Colossus and Mausoleum, both heavy clay wonders, to take the yellow card. Okay. Uh, Luffy buys it. Sitting at three coins now for Luffy. And then Drawn is going to discard the military. Not buy it, even though buying it would have gotten him one coin. He wants to discard it for a little bit more. All right. No good resources at this moment. So Luffy discards a, a red. Drawn follows through, discarding a red as well. Opening up uh, another divinity. We have a, a green divinity chosen to be from Drawn to be close to Luffy. And uh, uh, we also have an Egyptian divinity really close to Drawn. I would imagine Drawn picked that one as well. I kind of missed that there. Okay, just going through, discarding, uh, a lot of cards being discarded. I don't know why, even discarding a brown. Um, see, that's the thing with these games, watching higher ranked players. It's like, why do they put that there? Where are they going to place that divinity? I would think close to yourself, but why leave a gap? Maybe you're hoping for a divinity door to come out. Um, let's see, there's a Roman god and a Greek god left. You don't want those to be close to you, unless maybe Mars if you're going military. And he might be looking at his wonders. Uh, but anyways, uh, Luffy's going to choose the four coins, I would imagine. Get some get some coins. Watch him take the senator just to be like, nope, I'm not going to do it. He does take the coins. Okay, Drawn one is going to take the senator and double down in that area. Um, get... Maybe take a new Senate area, not take the same one. Oh, good choice. Turned out great for him. So there are two black cards left. Uh, I'll bet Drawn's loving that. We're going to have black extra turns. Conspiracy card extra turns. What are they called? Conspirators? Conspirator, yeah. So that'd be conspirators giving them extra turns. Drawn is going to... Discard the science. Nobody's really going science at all. Okay. Drawn now has the opportunity to take a yellow wood. I would imagine you take that. Okay. So, especially with the great library that you've got. See, if he didn't know he would end up getting that opportunity. So he wanted to make sure he had wood to construct that great library early because it's one you want to get out early, early. But he uh, ended up putting, you know, a lot of effort into wood and then later on gets the wood anyways. Uh, if he had taken the clay reserve, he would have had the wood reserve also now. So not liking Drawn's economy at all. Um, however... I do like his Senate situation here. Luffy is going to not let his opponent get a bonus turn. Uh, okay, he's going to choose an influence cube, I'd imagine. He can put it anywhere he wants. Stop his opponent from getting so many coins from discarding. Okay, that, that's a good move. You know, with only one blue card, you're only placing one senator each time, and they're getting more and more expensive. But maybe that's the goal, is just to get these powers of them so that, uh, hey, sure, they're expensive, but they uh, they pay off with their abilities. And with that, Luffy has every brown resource. Nope. That's great. And uh, Drawn is going to take the stone resource that just came out. No! I'm going to discard for coins. Incredible. I cannot understand why he's doing that. Especially because taking that last black card is not going to really give him a bonus turn at all. But he wants to do it. I think he's... or, or Luffy, actually. We got the bonus turn there with the Sanctuary. Good call! Making him be able to take the last card, meaning Luffy's going to go first in the next round. Where is he going to place that Sander Cube? Fight his opponent in there, make the gray resources uh, not as cheap as the ability would have allowed. 
Um, and, yep, you choose yourself to go first, it seems. High-level play, from what I've been seeing from these games. And especially with Pantheon, and then you take the best wonder, Ra, if it's out there. Luffy takes Ra, and he's going to steal. Let's guess what he's going to steal. I think Great Library. The only one that is constructible. Probably Great Library. Take the Great Library. That's what I'd imagine he does. Nope. He's going to try to push into military. Nope. Oh, Drawn continues to fight in the Senate and is going to take back the area that allows him to get the great resources costing less. Luffy going to discard uh, blue cards for coins. Drawn doing the same. Uh, Luffy buys the port that would allow him to have a free silver resource, great resource, sorry, but he already has a glass. Um, making mausoleum a little bit easier to construct. Um, Drawn's going to put an influence cube again in the Senate, taking back that plus two coins that was fought over uh, initially. So I think, yeah, four of six things are uh, areas are controlled by Drawn. Now Luffy takes Astarte, giving him seven coins that are protected. Uh, drawn worries about uh, military, I suppose, and uh, places the Minerva token. Maybe no side really wants to reveal anything at this point, because you either reveal two new cards, or you uh, allow somebody to get one of the best resources uh, givers, the Caravanissary, and Drawn needs that, and Luffy knows that he needs that. And he even destroys, with the, the wonder he stole, he destroys that wood from Drawn. All right, so all that was revealed is a bunch of military. Uh, Drawn discards, uh, allowing his opponent to take the caravanistry. Okay. And now Drawn's going to take the caravanistry, I'd imagine. Uh, Luffy didn't want, uh, I guess, uh, Luffy really wanted this military instead of uh, taking the caravanistry. What military did he take? Well, whatever it was, it must have been cheap for him. Okay, sorry it's not letting me click on it, but yeah, plus two military, maybe just to pressure his opponent, and then plus one more, allowing him to play out a senator cube out there, and fights him on the one that allows extra coins given after wonders are created. Um... And nobody really wants the double stone resource. Luffy really pushing in military, paying three coins for that one shield. Drawn fights him back with a two shield and a linking symbol build for the archery range. Um, Luffy's got one area controlled. Finally took a area um, and competing evenly at one of them. So really, he's, he's really only got, what area did he pick? The yellow. So he's got to build a yellow cards, you get coins. And then Luffy is going to choose, I think at this point, gray, two woods, or five points. I think the answer might be the gray still. Mm, no, take the wood. Take the wood so you can build your... No, 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 don't do the wood. You already have the reserve. Oh, okay. So... I was wrong there. Well, what is... Uh, what's going to happen there is Ball's going to steal uh, the clay reserve, or clay... Uh, the double clay from Drawn. Now, Drawn has, okay, he just barely got a brown resource. I wonder why he did that, because he has so much wood already. Um, it was Luffy who is not didn't have very much wood. Um, all right, building back his, his resources. Uh, Drawn is sitting okay. He got the Caravanistry, which is going to be good. He's got the wood 
reserve. Andy has the wood stockpile or whatever that double wood's called. And then he just got both uh, gray cards. Um, so yeah, the economies of everybody are doing quite well. It just lucked out that way. And Luffy is going to put out a senator. I guess he's a he's taking the middle. So military and the yellow. Okay. All right. And before drawn had the military one, but it moved it. Must have moved it after constructing those so Alright, so starting age three, Drawn's gonna decide because Luffy's winning in military. He's gonna choose himself to go first. Science is not being contested. Points, how are we looking? Drawn ten points, Luffy three points. Uh, everybody really focused on their economy. If the economy is option is there, you take it. And now in age three we're going to see the strategy start to push. I'm imagining that Drawn still keeps trying to take the Senate. I don't know, third age, if you haven't gotten close to the Senate. Don't try it, and what counts as close? He's got three. He's got three of the four. He's, he'll need one, two, three, four more senators to actually take it, and there are only one, two, three left. He's got to have a miracle happen for that to happen. Um, Drawn's probably not going to win that way. So it's going to probably be Drawn's going to push for points, and Luffy's going to push for points and military. Let's see. Drawn is going to choose himself to go first, I'd imagine. And Drawn's going to discard a card, get some coins. He's now at 10 coins. 10 coins, 10 points. A little better decision. Uh, Luffy uses Zeus to discard a conspirator. Interesting choice. Um, okay. Drawn builds uh, Circus Maximus. Going to destroy the gray glass of Luffy. Luffy, the number two ranked player, decides to take that, uh, I think it's the lighthouse, not the great lighthouse, just regular lighthouse, um, giving him one coin for every yellow card. So now he's up to 14 coins. That's a good set of coins able to do things with. Plus, don't forget, he still has a start day with five coins left. Um, Drawn uh, is able to take a progress token from the box, building the uh, his third wonder. And that'll be his final wonder. He takes economy. Hey, it's still early third age. Uh, maybe I wish I could have seen the other options he had for that, but economy is generally a good choice. I'm viewing it from the perspective of Luffy here. And even if I, I did, I don't think the features of BGA would allow me to see actual like mini decisions like that that the players would make. Anyways, Luffy's going to... Okay, Luffy got pushed back in military. You don't want to get pushed back too many times in military uh, if you're going for it because uh, just a couple pushbacks is all you really need for a defense in military. Um, it's often good to have the military wonders and those extra turn wonders to stop that from happening. Um, drawn. What's he going to choose? Yep, yeah, I'd imagine even though it is only five points, that could you could get a lot more points later on. Instead of taking the six points, Luffy uh, sets up his, uh, his, what are those called, conspiracy card to be able to take a progress token um, from the from the box. Drawn stalling, <laughs> just building that snake to stall. So he doesn't want uh, to be the one to reveal it. So that means Luffy is going to reveal the two cards. And Drawn does not want him to take the, the the port, which would allow him to get brown resources. Oh shoot, I called something else the port earlier. That wasn't the port. That was what is this card? The uh, the one that gives glass and papyrus is not the port. My bad. And Drawn is going to take the port, giving him just two coins because he only had one brown resource. Luffy kept destroying things and making it difficult for brown resources. Luffy's got, gets to place a senator out, 
making military, give him coins. I don't know how many more military coins are going to be built. Well, Dron builds one right there. I guess he anticipated that. Give him lucky three coins. Okay, a uh, temple was discarded. Luffy discards it. He doesn't want Drawn to get all three temples. That would be a massacre. But allows Drawn to take a seven point. It's not looking good for Luffy, even though um, you know he's got a lot of coins, a lot of things to do. And when you've taken Raw, you already have an advantage. You've, you're going to have more wonders constructed than your opponent. Um, points are now at 30 to 17. We have three more cards left. The Chamber of Commerce. And Luffy's going to probably use that one to construct a wonder. He has no silver cards. Is he going to, to construct Divine Theater or Mausoleum? Eh, I'd imagine... Well, first he's going to get a progress token from the box. He's going to get Theology. Great call. He's going to have a bonus turn there. Oh, he's going to construct all three cards. Very cool. Wait, no, no, he can't because... No, 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 he can. He can construct Colossus, Mausoleum, or Divine Theater. Which three? Or which of the two does he do? I'd imagine Divine Theater first to take Aphrodite from a Greek. That would get him some points. And then Mausoleum to take five points from the deck. I think that's the right way to go. Let's check what happens. So first move. Okay, pushing two in military. Next move. Using mausoleum to... Take another military? I don't know. What is he going to do? Just take five points? Why did he choose to do that? Uh, taking the military only swung four points. Get, you know, from him not getting two points, his opponent getting two points, to himself getting two points. Why not have taken Aphrodite? Is Aphrodite already taken? No. All right, whatever. That's definitely not what I would have done. But uh, maybe it was just too many coins. He's thinking uh, just push more and more in military. Um, yeah, could have done Aphrodite. And then constructed mausoleum and gotten the two uh, temples. But anyways, he's going to get the final temple, which is which is good. And now uh, let's look at the point distribution here. It's a close game. It's very close. You saw at the end if he hadn't gotten those last twelve points. He uh, wouldn't have won, and he denied his opponent uh, doing anything in, in the last few turns with that theology. So that really helped him uh, to to win in points at the end there. He just, uh, I don't know, maybe he was watching Netflix or something like that and didn't realize he could have taken Aphrodite. But that's what I would have done, taken Aphrodite, and then used Mausoleum to take uh, uh, the five-point temple. There, right here, five-point temple, and then construct that final temple. But, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, he still won. He did pretty well in the game, and maybe he already calculated the points and knew he was going to win. He just wanted to be like, hey, I was eventually able to uh, construct the the Colossus and yeah, beat you. Uh, I was slightly winning in military at the end, those extra two points. So uh, could have been a statement there. But And also, not to mention, Colossus was cheaper that's probably the answer, folks. It was a cheaper option. Well, anyways, that is a game from the number two player. Um, playing against also a fairly great player, uh, Drawn1. I'll have to look at his games later because I, I kind of liked Drawn's play style a lot and how he was able to overcome and you know the economic barrage that was brought forth by Luffy. Um, Luffy seems to play pretty standard with just taking the economy away from his opponent. Uh, taking so many brown resources and um, I thought Drawn would kind of go that strategy but uh, he built Circus Maximus a lot later and ended up getting his statue of Zeus destroyed so economic dominance was not for him uh, struggling a lot of the game economically really focusing on that Senate too much in my opinion but 
That's all right. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, have a great day. Keep playing board games.